Paul Canabine Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with Paul Canabine, head coach of the men's lacrosse team. And coach, you guys go out and get the first victory of 2017 campaign up at Gettysburg, dominating faceoffs. What did what did that do for you guys, especially 10 and 14 in the second half? Yeah, I think you know you know Justin Brunetti and Nathan Nathaniel Laquang are doing a lot better job. You know, a year ago that was really a, kind of a spot where some games we face off really well and some games we won. Um, I really thought and think you know Justin's such a dominant faceoff guy for us, especially the start of his first game. You know, he's so nervous, but I think going into his second game, he's really done a fine job, and Nate's really improved from a year ago. But they, they still have a long way to go, but being able to win those face-offs, being able to go on runs, being able to score off the face-off has really been to help us, you know, going against some of these teams, and that's what we are able to do, and I thought against Gettysburg, we were able to score a goal, get the ball back, put more pressure on them, and really kind of wear down their defense a little bit, and which left our, our defense more, uh, more uh, fresh and be able to chase them around and cause them all sorts of havoc, which I thought we did a good job of. So, you know, winning those face-offs are crucial for us, and they're going to be huge coming up in our next five games for sure. One case where you guys did win the faceoffs, JT Thelen. You guys were tied at three to three in the yep. third quarter. JT uh, goes, gets out there and scores two goals in the in less than a minute. What kind of lift did that do for you guys? Well, we, you know, we were putting a lot of pressure on come to start the third quarter. You know, the first half, I really didn't think we played very well offensively at all. A lot of too many turnovers and just real casual with the ball. Uh, and I thought their goalie played outstanding. But in the second half, we were able to get more shots on them, more quality shots on them. And I thought JT made a big goal in transition there. And then when he got the short stick on him, he was able to go quickly on him and get another quick goal there. And JT, you know, he ended up with two goals. He probably should have had six, you know, because uh, uh, how well Tim Bradley played. He played, un- Tim Brady, I mean, played unbelievably and really kept them in the game. But, you know, he's playing better. Better, you know, getting back into the uh, the the motion of the game and being able to run goals together, two, three in a minute, you know, really puts it was really good for us if we're able to continue to do that. That's going to allow us to go on runs and really put teams on the de- defense. And you talked about it a little bit, touched on it, uh, the defensive effort. Just talk about the defensive effort in general, and then specifically Lito Flanagan joining. The squad. Yeah, you know, the defensive effort was great. You know, even playing without Tom Brown, who had pneumonia. You know, he's one of our starting guys against RIT. He sat out, and we played Drew Cremote in his place, and he did an unbelievable job, especially moving. Uh, um, moving Dylan Harris down the close because we have Lito back. We didn't have Lito. We had to play Dylan Harris up at pole, and that kind of didn't give us as much at the close place because we played Drew a little bit, but now that we're able to get you know two of our best defensemen on the field at the same time all the time, and Dom DeFazio and Dylan Harris, I think that's really two athletic guys that get the ball on the ground and get up, and then having Lito back, where he really helps us is getting the ball off the ground. You know, he's a good defender, but also he's so slick with his stick, getting the ball up, running in transition, and being able to make plays with his stick really helped us, and you saw that at the end of the half where he made a great pass to Wade Corvin inside with about eight seconds left to get us the lead at halftime. So those are the type of plays he can make. And for only practicing six days, or five days really, you know, Lito did a great job coming back for that. But he's only going to get better now that he's able to practice every day and really able to, you know, get his conditioning of the par. And looking ahead to the home opener on Saturday with uh, Ohio Wesleyan, what do you guys need to fix if there's anything to fix to get you ready for that game? Well, I think we got to be a little better offensively early on in the game. I thought against uh, Gettysburg and even against RIT, I think the first half we weren't great offensively. I think we got to get much better, value the ball a little bit. We got to play faster a little bit and be able to do things. But our next two games are Ohio Wesleyan and um, Salisbury teams that are just like uh, Gettysburg. You know, they're kind of slower, methodical teams that want to wear you down, spread you out a little bit. So, you know, we kind of understand how they're going to play. You know, we got to go out there and execute and Ohio Wesleyan has a decent goalie and they got a couple good poles really good midi D's they got some guys that can are really slick with the ball and move it around and bang it around and so they're pretty dangerous if you let them be dangerous and so you know we have to dominate the face-offs you know we got to be smarter on offense we got to shoot well and try to get that lead early and put some pressure on them well coach we appreciate your time this week and good luck with Ohio Wesleyan this weekend thanks a lot Joe appreciate it he's Paul Canabine I'm Joe Wama this has been the Paul Canabine show